Sickle cell anemia is a group of disorders known as the sickle cell disease, a group of inherited disorders that affect the red blood cells which are to carry oxygen throughout your body. Thank you for joining us on Health Nuggets. Today we understand the sickle cell disease and some of the challenges that sickle cell warriors go through. My name is Aida Munzatsi and Health Nuggets starts now. Normally, the flexible round red blood cells move easily through blood vessels. In sickle cell anemia, the red blood cells are shaped like sickles or crescent moons. Sickle cell is a life-threatening disease and it affects up to 3% of births in Africa. According to the World Health Organization and the Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology, the western and coast region account for 30 and 20 percent of sickle cell cases respectively in Kenya. Dr. Robert Kimtai is a pediatrician, hematologist and oncologist at the Kenyatta National Hospital and the Kenya Medical Research Institute. Under normal circumstances, uh, we expect the red cells to be round and to be looking nice and uh, good shape, but in this particular disease they actually change shape. And the effect of that change in shape is that the body recognizes this is abnormal and immediately starts to remove them and destroy them. And by doing so, when the body removes those cells and destroys them, it usually produces a yellow pigment in the eyes. So this is what we normally call jaundice. And so what you see with the patients uh, presenting is uh, they'll have jaundice, they'll be having anemia, which means low blood counts. And besides this, when the ch cells change the shape to become a sickle or like C, uh, what happens is that this makes their movement in the blood vessels uh, more difficult. I think just to use an analogy or an example is uh, when you're using a tire of a car, when it is round, the tire of the car can really travel very, very many kilometers and give you service until it wears out. But uh, in the sickle cell example, for example, the cell becomes like a C and a C is like moving the flat tire or a tire which is the shape of a C. And you can see that makes, gives the body a hard work in terms of trying to move this blood and ends up usually sticking in either the blood vessels. And that presents one of the most common features that you see in sickle cell. For example, if it, uh, when it goes to the small vessels in the hand and it blocks there, then it manifests as pain in the hand. If it goes to the leg and uh, blocks the small vessels in the leg, you get pain in the leg. Same thing appears when uh, it, it happens in the tummy. You see commonly the children will present with tummy pain. If it happens in the back, you get back pains. If it happens in the chest, unfortunately this comes not only with chest pain, but comes with symptoms like pneumonia, and where you actually have difficulty in breathing, coughing. And on top of that, you may get uh, infections. The, the, the most catastrophic thing is, uh, or difficult one, is having a stroke when it happens in the head you get a, a stroke and that is one of the really most devastating complications apart from the chest one for sickle cell. The other thing which happens with sickle cell is because of this shape, it also affects a very important organ called the spleen. The spleen is really important in developing the immune uh, system. So children with sickle cell lack immunity besides having uh, low blood counts and therefore they get repeated infections and all these because it is a lifelong disease, happens throughout life, and therefore later in life, the complications accumulate, and eventually they affect different organs, and starting from the head, which you talked about, stroke, it affects the eyes, which you can, it affects the vision, it affects the kidneys, it affects the heart, it affects the bones, and therefore it's a, a disease which affects all the body organs. So both parents, that is the father and the mother, contribute genes to the development of a baby. Let's see how this happens with this simple demonstration and how it can lead to a sickle cell child. I've tried to simplify this by just putting, using two, the two, the two uh, cards that I have here. So under normal circumstances, if you have normal blood, you've got information coming from your father, which is A, and you've got information coming from your mother, which is A. So the type of blood that you make is called AA. And this is the normal uh, blood, which is normally round, the, the, the round cells which move nicely along the body and they do not have any, any challenges. So somewhere along nature, there was a typo which occurred. And that typo led to the introduction of an S. And that introduction of an S actually 
uh, in malaria areas favors the individuals who get A from the father and S from the mother. So these are the carriers. So somewhere along the nature, the areas with malaria, you started to see uh, carriers appearing because of some type of which occurred which led to the S. So in malaria areas, uh, commonly you'll find patients with AS actually do survive and live longer than patients who with AA because uh, because the AA actually provides uh, survival advantage, I mean, sorry, the AS provides survival advantage to this. So if a mother with AS meets a father with AS, so the types of children they can form, because we know the children, half of it comes from the father, half is made from the mother. So we can imagine a situation where uh, the father contributes S and the other mother contributes S. So the child that you'll have will have SS. And this institution is where you have the child with sickle cell. On the other hand, the father may contribute A, okay? And the mother contributes A. So the child that you'll form will be an AA. So remember these are the same parents, but they're able to get the child with AA they can get a child with SS, and also the father can contribute A and S, and therefore they can get a child with AS. And this is where I was explaining that by nature, if we do the calculations, all this happens by chance, because we don't select, uh, we don't select uh, which child is formed. And without any interventions, 25% of the children will be SS. So a quarter of the children, uh, will be SS. Purely by chance, half will be carriers. So that if, if, if there's no intervention, just by chance, half of the children will be carriers. And again, another quarter will be, will be normal. So I just wanted to make it clear that if you are a parent who has got, uh, who is a carrier, AS, then you, just by pure chance, you may get child with AS. 50%, which is a carrier like you. Normal child, 25% chance. And sickle cell child with 25% uh, chance. So parents should not be surprised that they say, okay, I've got a normal child, and why do I have another sickle cell? And sometimes this actually creates, without the good understanding of all this, that sometimes creates tension sometimes in the family. So that can happen that way. So that is by pure chance. But since we don't know, this, all these are nature processes, it's just like throwing a coin, you can get heads three times, so you can actually get children with sickle cell three times. You can get tails three times, so it's like getting, you can get normal children of the three. You may actually get no child with sickle cell, and uh, all these combinations are there, so it is just important for us to be aware of that when you are thinking about genetic diseases. Signs and symptoms of the sickle cell disease usually begin in early childhood at around six months. Millicent Manga is a 22-year-old living with sickle cell disease. She was diagnosed at an early stage. Tangu venye nilikuwa mdogo nilikuwa nagonjeka sana but atukwa tunajua ni nini so nilikuwa napelekwa osi daktari wanatibu malaria kila wakati kila wakati until nikiwa wakati nilikuwa kitu 8 months ndio nilienda osi nikakuwa admitted nilikuwa na damu ya HB ya 2 ndio madaktari wakaanza kutafuta ni nini naweza fanya na gonjeka hivyo kila saa so baada wa kupata na walikuwa wametutuma Kenyatta by then lakini financial status ya shosho yangu haikuwa ina to allow to kuje so tulikuwa tunagonja katu bado narudi home hivyo hivyo until nikiwa 7 years ndo nikapata well wishes wakani donate ya nikakuja kenyata nikafanywa iyo test HB electrophoresis ndo nilikuja kwa mbuwa nikona sickle cell 
Misi kwa kabisa si kwa nelewa si kwa sel ni nini na, na the first time nilipata hiyo news shosho yangu ni mtu anapenda chat sana so hata yeye ya kwa nelewa that much lakini tulikuwa tukienda kila time tukienda clinic tunafunzwa hiyo gonjwa ni nini vitu yenye mtu anafaa kufanya yenye ufai kufanya so mimi nilikuwa anga ile like hapana mimi sina hii ugonjwa na yani nilikuwa ile kigodly siwezi kuwa na hii ugonjwa alafu nikapatikana ni mimi tu kwa familia yetu ni kuna hii ugonjwa kuna mtu mwingine ashai kuwa nayo so ni, kuna hiyo maswali unajiuliza ni kwa nini mimi life is generally challenging however it becomes more challenging with added health complications sickle cell warriors can face quite a number of challenges from finances stigmatization and stress kutoka hiyo time baka saa hii kitu nimeface kubwa sana ni rejection sana sana kutoka kwa friends wangu jo mostly nikiwa mdogo mimi mwili wangu haikuwa ina grow alafu nilikuwa anga mkonde sana so walikuwa anga wanapenda kunitusi wananiambia niko na HIV hiyo kuni neglect then watu walikuwa anga wanasema ni kas juu ya venye leo unaweza toka ward ufike home tena hiyo pain ikushike unarudi home o si i mean so wanasema ah maybe huyu alikuwa cast ni majini ni mashetani vitu kama hizo mpaka wanafika point wanajisolate hawataki ku relate na nyinyi sana challenges zenye mi na face sana sana ni kukuwa na marafiki bado si kila rafiki mwenye utapata na na yeye accept accept venyoko ju wanakujanga uta una, sasa like si kwa cell sai na zakana we naongea vizuri ukifika huko chini unasikia mimi nishakuwa mgonjwa sa unaona wao wanaanza kutoroka then ukimingol na friends wa kabila zingine unapata kuna wao wanapenda kwenda sijui maombi so unapata wanaambia watoto wa ah usitembe na huyo msichana huyo ako na mashetani hata kuambukiza na challenge nyingine ni kwenda hospitali kuna hospitali zingine azijui ku handle sickle cell na kuna madaktari wengine hata wa encourage mtu unatoka ward leo ukirudi kesho wako ah umerudi tena ai kwani shida ni nini unaona na wengine wanaona ni kama unajifanya most mwaso wakati uko si una uko in pain wanakupea pain killer i respond so uko like niko bado in pain so wa wanaona una unawasumbua unajifanya anipenda mokozi yesu anipenda mimi mimi nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa na, nataka kuwa news anchor yani ku travel alafu pia nilikuwa napenda kwa actress na hiyo ku dance but sasa maishosh alikuwa napenda kuniambia unajua wewe uwezi panda ndege juu ya oxygen nini nini uwezi enda kama news kama our news reporters uwezi tembea kila mahali juu unajua i with sickle cell leo unaweza mkoko sawa uende utembe ukirudi jioni pain inaanza na ikishaanza ishi hivyo raisi inaenda kama one month uko ward saa hiyo pia ni challenge na uwezi fanya vitu kama ku act of course vitu kama ku act na ku model inatakuwa over hizo vya to heal yenye wewe uwezi kwa sababu ya mgongo Uh, alafu pia sickle cell kitu kingine imenifanya ni kurudisha mtu nyuma like mimi nilimaliza form 4 2015 na sasa hii classmates wangu wote wame graduate lakini ju mimi kwa sababu ya multiple admissions kidogo niko shule kidogo niko ward mara moja so unapata hata nikirudi shule narudi nyuma so siendi mbele na wanafunzi wengine sisi vitu zenye tu ambiwa zinakuanga devastating inabidi tu u accept bitterly like mimi kitu na sana sana ukikaa peke yako we ujifikiria Ina, yani unajipata tu unajifikiria we kwa nini huko kama wengine labda sasa kama mimi ni msichana daktari anakuambia maybe ku get married vitu kama hizo ukikuwa na mtoto atakuwa nayo 
so the challenges zenye huo unapata sana sana ukifikiria ikifika tuseme kwa hiyo relationship field utapataje mtu mwenye anakuelewa na ku understand anaelewa hisi kwa self vizuri mwenye anaweza anaweza aku ile willing kutembea na wewe kwa hiyo safari hata mkikuwa nao watoto wako na hiyo si kwa self ataweza fika mahali achoke ama asichoke na wewe now the dreams of many warriors have been shattered with several myths that are associated with this condition me i think hapo kwa life span i think god ndio upya na life na mimi so far so good venye nime interact na watu hadi nimejua watu wako na miaka 65 na wengine 70s na wako na watoto mpaka wako na wajuku na wanaishi wakiwa na sickle cell so i think kila siku ukisikia mtu anakuambia atio oh, like sana sana mimi nilikuwa napenda kuambiwa uwezi ishi beyond 17 years uwezi pita hapo no mimi najua God ndiye anajua life ya kila mse kwa hii dunia. Me my greatest fear in life saa hii ni ku, ni get married na ni kuwa na watoto wako na sickle cell itani affect ile kabisa. Jo mimi mwenyewe nina I know hiyo pain yenye sisi u go through na na sisi tumekalishwa na madaktari tumefundishwa. Na kitu mimi sana sana daktari huyu niambia the thing is kama unataka kuishi vizuri na ukate hiyo 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 sickle cell ni uadopt watoto but sasa bado mi ufia kwa adopt watoto hii alafu pia kukuwa na mtu yako na sickle cell mi nimeambiwa na daktari mara mingi but ninaenda an extra mile kukuwa na huyo mtoto alafu anakuwa na sickle cell anauma like mi nitakuwa nikifeel guilty Well, sickle cell can be managed with an effective treatment plan. However, the treatment can be costly. Sometimes people can can say, "Oh, you uh, you are malingering, or or uh, you don't want to work, or something." But like I said, explained before, this blockage can be sudden. The pain can be sudden. One minute somebody can be very well. One minute they are really in severe pain. They are unable to do much because of the anemia. They can they are unable to to, to really perform necessarily. For example sports they may not be able to do the sports in the same way but they still need to participate in sports and uh, working with the teachers and sports teachers you can always find activities which can suit uh, can suit the child so it affects them in that way in the sense that um, one time they are very okay there's no there's nothing that you can even tell that they are sick another minute they are in hospital and that can happen in a very short time living as a parent with a child with sickle cell can be it, it, it is uh, the one thing they express is that you can never know they can sleep very well midnight temperatures short to maybe 39 40 you're in the hospital and they uh, somebody went to bed very well then regarding things like pain because they have got constant i mean many times they have pain they can be limited sometimes they're limited because of their the chronic things like the the, the bone diseases and all those things so that affects uh, the patients in a, in a different ways and even psychologically when uh, as you grow as a teenager sometimes those pains maybe may increase and uh, and because of the of, of, i mean as you grow up then it starts to have psychosocial issues and so many other things come in which can actually affect the patient with sickle cell mimi nikienda hosi na wadis wanasema imeanza kwa affect liver yangu inafika inakuwa kubwa kama kuna wakati last year kuanzia november nilikuwa nga ward so ilifanya liver yangu ikakuwa kubwa alafu maji ikakuwa kwa heart ika push heart ikaenda nje but ninashukuru Mungu juu daktari waliweza kujua mapema wakanipea dawa zikaweza kunisaidia but when i'm in pain hiyo watu ina, inatoka nga nje kidogo so to say menizo na kuishi wanaewa kupumua sometimes patients come with complications we already talked about so they don't come in immediately showing these are the signs some some of them are normal some of them come with stroke some of them come with chest the acute chest what you call acute chest or pneumonia type of uh, presentation of of the sickle cell so in those cases we tend to suspect them and then do the test so the best is to screen everybody and know that they have sickle cell unfortunately those programs are not uh, completely up and running the, the way sickle cell symptoms appear 
they can really be divided into those ones where you have anemia and as being the primary thing. And when you know you have anemia, you are always tired, you are always, uh, I mean, the, you have fatigue, you, you've got headaches, you may have um, other symptoms like the heart beating fast, breathing fast, and all those signs which show that you have anemia. So that is the first kind of symptoms. Second kind of symptoms are related to the blockage of the vessels. And the also related to the blockage of the vessels many times end up like crisis. And uh, crisis, like I said, can be pain, which can be in the legs, it can be in the back, it can be the hands, it can be in the chest, it can be in the head, which presents as a stroke. The chest has kind of like pneumonia. Then we have the long-term complications, which are because of this constant blockage, the, the organs are not getting the oxygen they need, they get continuously damaged, so you sometimes get bone deformities, sometimes the shape of let's say, the, the head may be, let's say for example, different. The, um, things like the heart continuously getting that damage, you get it failing over a long term. Kidney failure, you may get things like um, blindness which appears uh, suddenly. So all these can actually be, they can actually appear, um, they can actually appear suddenly or over a long term. Sometimes things to do, sometimes things to do with uh, just basically chronic pain. You may have what you call chronic pain syndrome where patients, because they have had pain for some time, it also affects psychologically, psychologically and all that. Then also, because of this, there's something called silent strokes, because of these blockages. Sometimes the brain, you don't see the, 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 the obvious, uh, let's say, weakness on one side, but when you see, when the child goes to school, you may notice that their performance, the teacher reports to you, or the mother reports to you that the performance is dropping, it was a good, we have really very brilliant uh, children with sickle cell, and some of them are even doctors, architects, and engineers. But sometimes when you get strokes, you actually get uh, that uh, ability to perform well in school drops down. Sometimes people might start saying, oh, this child is become, starting becoming rude, or he's not, he's forgetful, he goes to the place, I send him to the, to the shop, and he comes back saying they have forgotten what, what it was. I don't know whether it is, they are becoming, you know, uh, I mean, they, they, they are growing up and becoming rude, but it's a, sometimes actually something which is happening in the, in the brain. So regarding treatment, uh, treatment of sickle cell, you can divide it in basically into, I would call it three or four. Number one uh, is what we call health maintenance, health maintenance treatment. Basically health maintenance means that when you are well, you don't want to go into the situation where you get a crisis or you get into complications. So to do that, we want you to avoid the triggers. And to avoid the triggers, we are kind of saying, take a lot of water. So you will always find the child with sickle cell should be always be carrying uh, water. We said one another trigger is infection. So we want to avoid infection as much as possible. So there were two ways that we do that is to uh, give what you call penicillin medicine as a prophylaxis to prevent infections, but also so and encourage and ensure that, uh, that they get all the vaccines that they, that they require for, I mean, to, to prevent like pneumonia, to prevent the, all these other childhood uh, illnesses. So we're normally always looking at the card for the patient to see that they have got all the vaccines. Then uh, next uh, to that is that uh, we also have other, other, other things, keeping warm, trying to avoid, uh, you know, when there's an infection, like even this period where there's COVID, we're trying to avoid situations where they're exposed to, to get infections because that can also trigger, actually sickle cell is one of the biggest risk factors if you get, I mean, COVID for, for mortality or death kind of. So those are the general, the health maintenance plus nutrition, plus sometimes supplementation. And uh, though we do not have a special diet, we recommend that actually you just use the, the standard, I mean, a, a good nutritious diet, which is balanced carbohydrates, uh, proteins, uh, the vitamins and the fruits and all that. So those are kind of standard things. And uh, besides that, then the regular checkups and just going to the doctor to make sure that things are okay. So when it comes to disease-modifying drugs, the key drug for us in Kenya is hydroxyurea. If you've heard of the drug hydroxyurea, it's a drug which we are trying to go back to the fetal life to improve that hemoglobin to be what it was in the fetal life. Because like I told you, when the baby's in the tummy and comes out soon after, we don't have symptoms. So we're actually trying to go back there. And it has got also other benefits for many other things. It reduces stroke, it reduces hospitalizations, it reduces um, pains. So basically when you start hydroxyurea, that modifies the life of the patient completely. In fact, many times 
the patients only come for checkups, to do blood counts, and and that's it. So that's another that's a key a key drug. So hydroxyurea, unfortunately, right now the, the access to it is very low, and uh, for various reasons, it's not available. The cost sometimes, and sometimes even just the knowledge to use it, and even just uh, pushing for it. I know there are companies which are trying to do that, and. Uh, I think with, together with the ministry, with the county governments and all that, they're trying to, to push for this. The, the third one is, I would call them, uh, when you have complications, you may need, you may need to do, so, to, so let's call it blood treatment or transfusions. So the transfusions basically, uh, of course with one can be just to simply replace, to, to, to improve the hemoglobin. And patients with, an, with, with the sickle cell always have kind of low, hemoglobin compared to the other uh, people. But um, sometimes it really drops down and you need to transfuse on top. But there's what is also called chronic tra chronic transfusions, which is management of patients who have already had stroke. And here we are trying to reduce, because if you transfuse somebody, you're transfusing somebody with AA blood, because uh, then they are SS, right? So when you give AA, you dilute the SS. And therefore, if you have had stroke, that reduces the chance of you getting a stroke again. So you can actually reduce the S with the A transfusions to the point where somebody does not get as much frequent, I mean, doesn't get as much frequent a crisis and all that. The only challenge with that is getting blood. Number two is the blood safe, the reactions that you can get to the blood, and then get iron overload with the, with the, with the blood. Then the final one, which the last one which I've, I've kind of reserved for last, is um, cure. Because everybody I know with sickle cell, this is the most one of the most distressing uh, diseases. Everybody wants to know what is a cure. Because this is inherited, then you need to change that genetic material. And the way to do it is by bone marrow transplant. There are now some gene therapies people are trying, but this is really limited. And even in the resource-rich countries, only very few patients can can get this because number one, there are very few people who can match you so that you can get the the transplant which you, you, you yourself will not reject. And then number two is the cost. And number three is really just, just basically there's also risk associated with just the procedure, leave alone anything else. I mean, there's a, even in the good centers and your match siblings, there's still a 5% five, five chance to 15% chance that you could actually die from the procedure. So I didn't want to, 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 to it is available. It is, you can you see some patients going to India to do it. But uh, for the, vast majority of the patients with sickle cell in the country. The key thing I would, like, I would recommend is using hydroxyurea and the health maintenance and getting transfused when needed. Because sometimes uh, if you transfuse unnecessarily, you introduce the risk of even infection, iron overload and all these complications. A great support system will go a long way for sickle cell warriors. Therefore, they need friends and families that will understand them and stick with them through tough times. Dawa zetu zinakuanga very expensive. Kuna dawa moja unanunua, moja ni 40 bob peke yake. Sasa hiyo unafaumeza dawa tatu kwa siku na unafaununua for one month na siyo peke yake ni nyingi. So cost ya dawa pia ni very expensive. Kama government ingeweza ipunguze bei ama watu peizo dawa for free bado tungefurahi. Kitu kingine Eh, sisi tunakuanga pia na changamoto kwa workplaces wale wenye wako na job employees wenye wan employee au masiklas wa wa understand like si kila siku sikla atamka akiwa sawa aende job so wasi wasi wagombanishe ile kuwa pia pressure juu pressure pia ina, ina lead to stress stress ina lead to crisis unapata mtu amekuwa msik i believe that uh, tukiwa pamoja anaweza face whatever you go join na kuanga nayo in a brave way unaona tunampeanga strength akituona hata kama alikuwa na ICV baya unamwonanga tu akicheka kitoa story you know because atataka ni kumuonesha azini kama tuna duel kwa hiyo ugonjwa yako na tutaka kumuonesha that tunaweza enjoy friendship at uh, to uh, duel kwa the fact that ati mtu ako na sickle cell no hiyo ni ugonjwa tu iko tu ndani yake una get huyo uh, mtu ako na future yake ako na vitu zenye zina make happy ako na interests zake 
akona passion yake akona goals zake unaona tunafaa ku focus on that direction atufai kuangalia the fact it atie ni mgonjwa no akiwa mgonjwa tutakuwa hapo tukimsupport but tunafaa ku ku up at least ku push tuone amefikia goals zake tu push tuone akiwa happy tu push tuone tumefika pale si wote na all of us are happy mwanzo mwanzo nilikuwa na feeling scared because hadi zio na yani mali mtu anaumwa alafu anasema anasikia joints hadi hizi move eti vitu fulani zinamuasha mkono so like hadi singo siko anaelewa anga au hii pain iko aje sasa nilikuwa nasema anga sasa hizi ile utoto nilikuwa nasema like hebu pia mimi ni feel siku moja tu yani ikuje tu once na iende ni feel tu juni sikie tu vile anasema ju mostly analianga sasa si mungu yenyewe milia ya dijika tungekuwa na yesa hii lakini ju god yako na kila kitu tu mazii ugonje hui na na unaweza fight i mean i believe tu hivi mimi ataishi miaka mingi like watu wengine tu vile kasi wengine tu uko as long as two prayers kitu ya kwanza na ujumbe wangu kwa wao friends wenye wako na siko cell kwanza ningependa ni kuencourage niwaambie sisi hatukuchoose kwa na siko cell lakini sasa juu tumekuwa nayo ni poa tu to accept na to fight na najua god akiwa na sisi atatupea the strength hiyo yenye tunahitaji na the end of it tutakuwa winners tukipata na changamoto like kuumwa kila wakati mimi kitu nimelearn kabisa usiwahi question god ni kwa nini ju ni shey ambwa na pasta wangu wakati god aliona huu kwa na siko cell alijua mbona akupea brother yako akupea mamaka akakupea wewe so aliona uko na strength ya kufight hiyo siko cell na kwa dunia mzima na kwa pia parents wenye wako na watoto wako na siko cell sana sana ningependa kuwapongeza kwa juhudi zao ju Najua si rahisi kama mzazi kukuwa na mtoto ako na siko cell. Ju sana sana siko cell in affect hata financial status za familia. Najua kuna time wanaka chini wanasema isingekuwa hii ugonjwa sasa hata sisi tungekuwa tunaishi runda nini nini but na, na wapongeza sana ju wame accept hao ni watoto wao na waka accept kuwa take care of vizuri na pia kuna wale wazazi wenye wako na watoto wako na siko cell na wana wa neglect ningependa kuambia sisi kama warriors tuna we need family wazazi wetu sana sana na friends wenye wanasimama na sisi ju ukipata mzazi ako hapo ku encourage anakupea hiyo nguvu yenye unataka na pia ningependa kuambia ma friends wa hao watu basi tuogope sisi pia ni kama wao ni vile tu ni ugonjwa yenye inakuja na iko na season so wakwe true friends kwetu watu support na watu patile la vyenye tunataka na sisi tuta pay back the same From these conversations it's evident that a lot needs to be done as far as the sickle cell disease is concerned and more so supporting the sickle cell warriors. That's all we had for you from Health Nuggets. For any questions and comments you can always reach us on our social media handles and thank you for those that have been commenting and suggesting health topics that can be featured on this platform. My name is Aida Munzati and always remember your health matters. <laughs>